hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing the super sexy glam look if you do not think this is sexy you're fucking nuts that's all i gotta say if you guys want to join my giveaway make sure you subscribe down below once i reach 100 subscribers i am going to be doing a giveaway i will not be showing pictures of nothing in the giveaway until i hit that mark so follow my videos for more details but with that just make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell down below so that way you're informed every single time i upload a new video and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up but without further ado here we go all right guys so i have taped off my eye well used a eyeshadow shield and I'm going to start with my transition shade which is going to be this purple right here and it is N229 from the Sephora collection. Alright and then the next color we're going to go in with is this purple, this darker purple shade which is N316 and it is from the Sephora collection as well. And I'm going to be using the Morphe RG18 brush. And I'm just putting that closer into my crease. All right, and then for my base, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jungle Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm going to put that on my lid. And then I'm just taking a very small angled liner brush and I'm going to cut my crease. And then I'm going to take this Morphe E28 brush and I'm going to go in with this um, another Sephora eyeshadow in the, in the number N201. It's just a matte white shadow. And I'm just going to put that where I put the white jumbo pencil. Now I'm going into my Kat Von D Sand Center palette and I'm taking this black called Sabbath. On a small crease brush, I'm going to start by patting that on the outer lid. And then I'm going to take it into the crease. And I know this looks kind of messy. But we're going to go back in with that Morphe M576 brush and we're going to blend all that into the crease. Black is such a hard color to work with, but that means you just got to blend a little more. You got to work a little harder if you really want it. Going back and forth with that black. Just adding color where it's needed, which I want to have a really deep outer corner. And then going back in with my Morphe blending brush and blending that in again. And then I'm going back in with that Morphe RG18 brush and I'm going to just blend the black and the white. To make it have a nice gradient and then taking this very flat domed flat brush and then I'm going to take a mixture of these two colors which this one over here is called N220 and this one over here the purple one is called N264 I know the name of this one for sure is called Lucky Penny because it's my favorite <laughs> I'm wetting that brush with some Mac Fix Plus and I'm dipping into the coppery one, then the purple one, and then just a little more into the coppery one. And I'm going to pat that on the inner part of my lid. And then I'm going back in with that small brush that I used with to use to pack on the black to blend in those colors. Now I'm going to take this little tiny bent, very bent uh, lip brush 
and I'm going to go into the color N204 from the Sephora collection. I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of both my eyes. I pop that on the inner corner. And taking this, if I can pick it up, this big fluffy dome brush, same color, and I'm going to run that across my brows. Or my brow bone. And then I'm going to take my Kat Von D Tattoo Lana and make a wing. Now guys, I'm going to do my face. And I've already moisturized, so I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. No. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And now I'm going to take some color corrector, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm going to take my beauty sponge, Ego Tools, and blend that out. Right, now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay. Um, foundation and I am in the color light neutral and I'm going to use my elf ultimate blending brush <laughs> all right now taking my tart shape tape in the color fair neutral of course I'm going to highlight blend 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 that shit in that was rude you know how hard it is to avoid your wing? It's fucking hard. You see that though? I did it because I'm a G. That shit was hard. That shit was real hard. I'm just a young boy. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. I should probably bake before this gets super cracky. I'm just a poor boy, nobody. Guys, guess what I got? I got this. And it has. Dun, 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 dun. Laura Mercier Powder. So, y'all know that I've never tried this until now. So I'm going to go ahead and bake and I'm going to take my Mata Pro BMX 130 pointed blush brush and dip that in there and sweep that all over my face and sweep that shit away. Unnecessary baking time. Oh yeah, dust away my fucking eyebrows. What am I doing with my life? All right, y'all. You know, now about the contour, like usual, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Oh yeah. All right, and since this is like a glam AF look, I want to contour the fuck out of me. I want to contour the shit out of me. I'm gonna I'm blend I'm a, I'm a, I'm a that out now. Sephora just informed me they're having a sale. I hit VIB at Sephora this year, y'all. I didn't even think I shopped at Sephora like that. And I've hit platinum at Ulta. I'm gonna use this little tart blush called Feisty with my Morphe PK14 brush.
All right, now I'm gonna apply this Always On Gel Liner from Smashbox. I'm going back in with that light purple color from the Sephora collection. I'm gonna sweep that underneath my eye or my waterline. And then I'm just gonna take this pencil brush with that other purple color, that darker purple. And I'm gonna sweep that underneath my eye as well. And then I'm gonna take this flat smudger brush and I'm going to smudge out that black eyeliner. All right, so I am going to apply lashes real fast. And I'm using the Eiler Vegas Nay Lashes. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Highlighting Drops. And this was in the color Starlight. Shit. Alright, and then I'm going to go over top of that with my Urban Decay Afterglow Palette. I got this for Christmas and I am in love with this stuff. First off, let's talk about this packaging, y'all. Look at this. I didn't even want to take this off because I love that it like goes with the outside. But I'm just going to grab a little fan brush and I'm going to go with the color down here called No Angel. Look at my fucking highlight, y'all. Look at that. Look at it. I mean, I know you are because you can't miss this. All right, now I'm gonna take my roller lash and I am going to little coat a little bit of my top lashes. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Why wait for that to dry? I am going to do my lips and I'm using Kat Von D's Ludwig for my lips to die. I didn't want to go too crazy with the lips because well I want the eyes to stand out. I am gonna just take my Mario Badescu um, rose water spray but I'm gonna use it today because my face needs that little extra oomph. I usually use this at night before I go to bed. And I wanna take just a tiny bit of these liquid highlighter drops and add just one drop in the center of my lip. And there we go. There you fucking have it. So I know that this is like um, kind of a, you know, random video, but I like to do tutorials for you guys and I've been playing a lot with black and glitter. Y'all, I you should have seen my New Year's look. If you guys haven't checked out my best and worst products of 2017, make sure you go check that out now. I will leave that at the end screen right here somewhere. And I will see you guys, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful 2018. We're going to do this bitch together, y'all. You think that 2017 was lit? 2018 is about to be on fire. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!